20 acres. Um, this is Sheridan, Montana. This is west of Big Sky in the Tobacco Root Mountain Range. My name is Miles McLaughlin. I'm here to just kind of run through a 20 acre property we're listing for sale at Wilco Land. Um, what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you some photos of the land. Um, you can see I just had one pulled open there. Um, so we're looking at photos of the property. I'm going to talk about how you can access the property. I'm going to talk about utilities, you know, zoning, what you can do with it, where it's located. Um, I'm going to give you the full rundown. Um, I do offer more of a self-service model. So I think um, listening to this video will give you a good idea of how you can do your own due diligence and, and really what we're selling here. Um, so showing you here without getting too high level right away, these are photos of the property. Um, this is just west of Big Sky, Montana. As I had mentioned, it's, it's 20 total acres. Um, you've got some BLM land back here behind it. And we'll pull it up on Onyx. Um, I'll have all of this on our website listing when it's posted. This is a brand new property here. You can see we've got it measured out. Um, you can see the property outlined as well. Um, so without staying there for too long, let's pull up the property on a map and see exactly where we're located. Um, so right here is Big Sky, Montana. Um, we're looking just west of it. So um, Virginia City, Sheridan, Twin Bridges. Um, and then you've got you know Pony, Montana, Harrison. Those are kind of famous areas next to the Tobacco Root Mountain Range. Um, they call this the Madison Valley. So um, there is another property for sale next door. Um, if you're curious, um, this is actually where we got you know, some information on the road. Um, so there's a gravel road for those looking to access it. You're gonna wanna use GPS coordinates. So taking a step back, I have the GPS coordinates of the property pulled in just like somebody's address on a map. And as we zoom in, um, you can see it's, it's a pin right on the middle of the property. I can show you this on Google Earth too. I have them opened up on Google Earth. And I'll share this link. You can actually download a Google Earth link with the property highlighted. Um, but what I'm trying to explain here is that to access this property, let's zoom out for a minute. And you know we're gonna be, let's say we access it from Lauren or from Ruby, wherever. Um, you can even access it, I think down here from Junction too. You can see there's a road coming in through this valley. So there's multiple ways to probably um, get back there, right? Eventually you're trying to get to this corner so whether you come in from the west or the south, um, I don't see much from the north or even the east. So really you're coming in from the west or the south and you're using these GPS coordinates, you're getting on, this is Mill Gulch Road. So Mill Gulch Road, you can see there's other residences. This is part of an HOA, it's $100 a year. It's very non-intrusive. I'm gonna go over the covenants in this video. I'm gonna go over you know, a survey showing these properties, but you can see people have developed. People are building cabins back here. We can zoom in. I have Google Earth, a file shared in the listing. You can go look at it yourself. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can take a look. You can take a look. What are other people doing? That gives you a good indication of, you know, hey, maybe this gives me some ideas for my property. Um, and so looking at this, Mill Gulch Road goes all the way up to, let's see where it connects here. We want to get off Mill Gulch and go, this is Sundowner. So then we want to go up some Sundowner and follow. You can see my cursor here, the little hand goes to about this driveway. So this driveway goes in here and then you're gonna go left or west. And then this turns into a two track. So this is kind of maintained and, and gravel road all the way up to about this section of, of this um, subdivision. And so from here, it's a two track. And if we measure this out, you can actually use a path um, on Google earth and we can do some measurements here. So let's see how far that two track goes. So let's say we start here, we're following this two track. Um, and this is the corner of our property. So right here is a corner of our property that's just 0 0.4 miles. Um, and so this one can access it. I would recommend a high clearance or like a four wheel drive pickup truck. I mean, we saw some of those photos. It's really not bad, especially during the summer months of fall and the spring. It's not bad at all. Um, during the winter, you're going to maybe get some snow load. As you can see, nobody's developed back here except this fella. Um, so it looks like somebody does have some sort of development going on here. Maybe they're accessing that. Maybe people are camping back there, bringing an RV, things like that. I'm not sure. Um, but during the winter time, I've been advised, you know, hey, depend on the snow load, it may or may not be accessible without, you know, some sort of snowmobile. So that's something to keep in mind. But again, we're looking at the property here. You know, it's been driven on. It's been, it's been owned. Um, looking at ownership here. This is a ranch behind it. Um, let's see if there's any public land next to it. Nope. So that BLM land is going to be further back in here. I'm assuming this is kind of where it starts. So um, again, this is kind of your bird's eye view. This is using GPS coordinates to access the property. I'm showing you how to use Google Earth. 
Um, you can see it's a fairly flat property with kind of south facing views. Um, it's a really, you know, like I said, beautiful valley right here. I mean, you're owning land next to the Tobacco Root Mountain Range, um, next to Ennis, Montana, and, you know, most importantly, west of Big Sky. So um, this is kind of the next area hitting off. Let me talk a little bit more about, um, you know, what you can do with the property, right? And so we're going to have photos of this in the listing. I showed you some of the photos um, of the actual property. Here's some old school covenants from here. Parcels one through 23 of the Sundowner Ranch. Um, I will also have the contact for the HOA listed in the listing. So if anybody had super high level questions, um, really were close to making an offer, but maybe wanted to just chat with the HOA, that's something you could do. Um, so I'll have their information in the website listing. Um, just looking through here, you can see, really this is, for me to sum it up without going through all of it, this will also be in our website. Um, what this is trying to say is, hey, we're trying to say, we're trying to protect the value of everybody's property. All they're trying to do is say, hey, you know, the minimum building size is 600 square feet. So you can't just put up a little shed um, in the middle of nowhere. So that's really what they're trying to prohibit is, is something really, um, you know, an eyesore being developed here. Um, so you can read through that on your own. It's very, very non-intrusive. Like I said, an HOA only charging hundred dollars a year is, is a very non-intrusive HOA. They're really there to just try and, you know, maintain anything from crazy from happening to these properties. So. Um, Again, that road could use some improvement. Do you need to? No, you know, um, it's not required, right? You can access the property as is. It's being accessed right now. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I also wanted to show you a survey of, the, of this subdivision. And for those, um, you can see this is the easement, you know, to access these two last properties in the subdivision. So I zoomed in here. You have a 60 foot private road easement. Um, starting at that property. This is that driveway, that residence we saw, and that winds around. Um, and it's a 60, 60 foot private road easement that gets to these last two properties. So um, when it comes to utilities, this land is totally undeveloped. Um, what I know about utilities is that power is less than a half a mile away. So um, power, I believe the nearest power source is right here. So you're going to be pulling power through a few properties, which, which is possible. It's probably going to get a little costlier. Um, and so we're going to price this less than the next highest listing. You can see that um, you, we've got a listing here for 260,000. Um, this is lot 23, we own lot 22. Um, the other listing you will find online is one here for 289. So um, you know, this is something, I don't know where this one is, I don't have the lot number on it, but you can see some of the photos of the area. Um, and we're going we're gonna to definitely try and sell this with, with speed. We're going to um, offer a lot of value and equity to the next buyer. So our specialty is finding value-added land deals. So we want to provide some meat on the bone for the next buyer. We offer cash discounts oftentimes for cash buyers. We do seller financing as well. Um, I'll give you a preview of our website here. Um, I don't have a ton of else in Montana right now, a couple pending sales and a couple in my pipeline. I'll be getting added to the website soon. Um, but again, a lot of the information on these properties will be on the website. The last thing I wanted to touch on was Onyx Maps. Um, this is a really great app if you're going to go visit this property. You can use GPS coordinates. And you know, if you download the maps, I have a blog on the website about how to use it. But it's probably one of my favorite, favorite apps to go successfully visit land. Um, it really helps um, identify where the boundaries are, helps you get to the property, um, shows you ownership and parcel lines. So here's a, here's a blog on that, on that app. Um, you know, what else am I touching? It's undeveloped, well and septic would, you know, you would have to install that yourself. Power, you'd have to install that yourself or go solar. Again, the road's not required to be improved. You could lay some gravel down and kind of maintain that if you wanted to. You could coordinate with some neighbors down the road. Um, if they developed at some point too, you guys could all pitch in and, and work on that. So um, that's kind of the summary of this property here. Lot 22, Sundowner Ranch. Um, we touched on a few of the things. There's not much I'm missing on this property. Um, I think it's a really great location. You're going to have epic views. Um, you know, finding 20 acres in Montana for a little bit of a below market price is, is rare to come by these days. So if you have any questions, give us a call. My name is Miles McLaughlin. Our website, Wilco Lands. My number is 605-250-1256. Hope to chat with you soon.